What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're talking about Euro USD. I had a short position last night, Sunday night, to start the week. This morning, woke up 31 pips in profit. So let's go over the trade, let's talk about what I liked, what I didn't like, and how I managed this position. To start the week, like I said last night, I was looking at charts just to kind of get a feel, as I would normally do, for what's coming ahead when I wake up Monday morning. So it was about 9.30 last night when I saw EURUSD presenting something that I liked on the 15 minute time frame, and we're gonna get into that here in a second, but I wanna first show you the PL here. You can see I had two closes on the same position. So the entry price is the same, 1.11478, but I closed at two separate times. I closed half of it at first because I wanted to just take the profit when I woke up this morning and then let the position ride, but then after I woke up a little bit more honestly because I did this pretty early. Once I woke up a little bit more, I saw that ADR was basically maxed out at this point. So that's when I closed the rest of it here. It just happened to be that I closed it at exactly the same price at two different times. That's why you see these two positions like this. So it's not that I caught 62 pips today. I don't like when people add up their pips like that. It's 31 pips closed in two different positions. You'll see a lot of people that will take two trades like this and they'll close it in two positions. They'll add these up and say they caught 61 pips. In reality, they didn't. They just closed the same position, those same pips in pieces. They only took a third of those pips off. So it's just marketing basically, but I digress. So 31 pips on Euro USD. Here's the chart of my live MetaTrader 4 photo. You can see ADR, but the top there was maxed out at this point when I'm up 30, almost 31 pips. That's where I closed the second half of this trade. The stop loss at that point was already locked in profit, but because ADR was maxed out and we were down at the 800 EMA, I knew that it was just right to take the winner. It was very, very low risk initially, so it was at two to one already. That's a good trade that you wanna put in the bag. So let's go to the chart and talk about it in detail here. Again, I told you in the beginning of the video, what I really liked about this trade was the 15 minutes. So here's our separator, our period separator that goes from Friday into Sunday night into Monday, right? So Friday, we had a huge push up here on the China trade news as Trump was tweeting and everything was uh, reacting to what potentially could come as the turmoil continues between the US and China. It's really you know, affecting the entire global economy. So with that, with that huge push on the technical side, right? I don't really care about the fundamental reason on the technical side, Side with such a strong push, to me, you're gonna have to see some type of either a consolidation period or a pullback. So I'm banking on the fact that there's gonna be a pullback today. That was my thought going into the week. That thought was then confirmed with the technical analysis here. So you can see we were very, very overbought on the TDI at 11.45, 12 o'clock, going into the afternoon of that New York session on Friday. Even though we were very overbought, price action continued to rise. And even to start the week, Sunday night, last night, you can see from five, six, seven o'clock at night last night, this started to push higher. What that did was create divergence. Now, if you haven't seen my divergence video, I'll link it in this video right here above, I would highly recommend that you go check that out. It's gonna show you how to identify when markets are changing conditions. And that's what I was banking on here, that conditions would change. So the divergence was between the RSI and price action. RSI making its high here at 11.45 on Friday, and then falling throughout the New York session into the close on Friday, and then into the open this week on Monday and Sunday night, right? So that falling RSI but rising price action creates the divergence. Now you can see it with my two white trend lines, right? That divergence signaled to me that if I could find a smaller time frame, a shorter time frame entry on the five minute with more confirmation that we might see push down, what I would then do is look for two to one, like I always do with these setups, but also use the EMAs as levels of take profit. So if we take it to the five minute, you can see last night at a Let's see, at about 111.47, my entry price was 111.47.8. So here we have it marked 111.47.5, basically the same entry price. You can see on the five minute, we hit that divergence line very hard and came down off of it. When we came down off that divergence line and broke the 21 on the five minute, I got really interested. That was then something that would say, all right, at this point, if we can hold that push, if we can hold the push down and we don't retrace higher and we close solid on the 15 minute, then I would look to take the position. So again, the break on the five minute and then the hold until the close on the 15 minute is what really had me confident in the trade. The fact that we then broke the eight EMA on that 15 minute close said to me, look, we can use the high set as your stop loss, measuring that risk at 16 pips. You can see that. I would then think to myself, I wanna get at least 30 or so out of this to get that 
two to one that I'm normally looking for. That would mean taking it to the 800 EMA. So I like the risk, I like the reward potential, and I took the position. And as you can see overnight, it really did just move sideways, which you see a lot on Euro USD because in that Asian session, neither the euro market or the dollar market are even open to start the week yet. So that was just the Japanese and Australian markets trading. So this pair is not going to move a lot. However, once we woke up in the London session, two, three o'clock in the morning, this pair started to move. The euro started to move and that's what took me down to profit. So again, what I really liked about the trade was the 15 minute divergence building from Friday into tonight or into last night into this morning session. That divergence was what got me in the trade last night. And as I, when I woke up and saw it continuing, that's what made me confident to stay in the trade, you know, lock that gain and then see what I could do to adjust. Now, as far as adjusting in the trade, once I'm already in it and managing it profitably, you want to use things like ADR. You want to use things like the EMAs to tell you when you should be taking profit. As you can see from the level that I got out of the trade here at about 32 pips, 31 pips, it hasn't moved. It's chopped sideways since 4.30 this morning. It's, it hasn't moved at all. That's because number one, ADR is maxed out. It moves an average of about 60 pips on a day. It already moved over 60 today. So it's already gone what it does in an average day recently. And the second reason, it's sitting at the 800 EMA here on the 15 minute. So because it's sitting there, because average daily range is maxed out, you can't anticipate for this move to continue in either direction. It can easily just stay here until the changeover of day and it gets a new ADR and it can reset and keep moving. So for me to close there, I think is really good risk management, taking that two to one, taking the winner to start the week. So if you learned something, drop a comment. If you enjoyed the video, drop a comment. If you have any questions about how I took the trade, how I drew the divergence, let me know in the comments. I'm always there to help you guys. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next recap.